Hey man, you ever looking to flatter? Okay, this pontoon boat that we're watching right here is going to be the pontoon boat that I'm going to um, view when it's about a mile and a half, two miles offshore. Um, hide of my camera, shouldn't have no problem seeing it in the water. Um, and right now you can see how it's shaped. And you can also see that the pontoon tunes are pretty low. Uh, probably because not only is the boat moving, but because it's pretty heavy. Now, this is later on. Um, this footage has been sped up three times. And I want you to watch that red boat and, and even the other boat, because the other boat um, is actually trying to form not only a, a Fata Morgana, but it's also trying to duplicate itself above, too. Um, later on, you'll see how this... Um, concave mirroring effect causes this boat to do all kinds of stuff. Now look, you wonder why boats uh, vanish bottom up? But look at how this is getting compressed up and down, up and down. Um, you know, and, and then look at this uh, um, the pontoons shine, but it just gets crushed down again. But also look at how that looks like a mist out there. That mist is like a water mirror. It's like a sky mirror. And this stuff is just getting displaced too. Um, that's another thing. Uh, being displaced up and down. Refraction cannot affect an object that is not within the line of sight of the viewer. It's not pulling something up above the curve. It's only taking what's visible and rising it up. Um, and actually you can see how it's doing it with both these boats out there on the water but the real uh, interesting part is going to be coming up right here soon um, we'll see this displacement now I would ask you pick out which is the real boat where where is the real boat at take take a guess because it's pretty interesting um, because you're gonna see everything when everything settles back down you're gonna see what this boat looks like the other problem that I had while filming this I noticed uh, in the original video I you know I slowed down um, but I was having an issue with the focus and you know I was focusing it and then it would go out of focus but it wasn't me making it go out of focus it was the weather conditions out there um, so again where was that where was the real boat where was it at? It's pretty interesting. There it is. And look at it. It's still got above the other secondary boat because he's a little further out. It's still affecting that boat. I mean, and you can tell he's further out by just the size of the people on the boat. But again, um, all through this um, particular day, I had really some quite interesting um, optical effects that really do kind of explain a lot of things why people would believe that there's a curve out there when in fact it's not um, you know because they've been told this refraction pulls objects up that are not visible pulls them up into where they can be visible refraction does not is not going to work that way in the real world Okay, you can do it through glass, uh, butane. I've seen the little tricks that they use to, to show this. But this is real live footage. Um, and you can see the whole background. Look, look at the effect that it's having on the sky above it. 
above of everything. Now another thing that this does too, when these effects occur, this effect can happen in, in close and it can happen far away. But believe me, this effect is always occurring and this is why you have such a de deception of a curve. So again, you might see a boat go out and go out and go out and then all of a sudden, you know, it looks like it's going to vanish bottom up. Well, this is a good reason why they vanish bottom up. Uh, and another reason is, is, you know, you have a vanishing point where you can no longer zoom in any further. And uh, also trying to get the quality pixel rating on such long, long zooms to get, you know, a close close up uh, would be almost impossible. All right, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it showed you some things to learn by. All right, thanks for watching.